Hi everyone, it's Karen from Desco Artistry. Don't worry, I'll let you know all the colors and materials that are used down below. So I had an idea here in my head to do a ribbon pour and then swipe out from that. So you'll see that I'm layering my cup down the side as I would for any type of a tree ring or ribbon type pour. Now you see that I also topped a little bit of that lavender on the top. And I do this for a couple of reasons. Um, when I start the ribbon off, it's some paint I can dump and not worry about the good colors that I put in. So I'm just going to apply this back and forth and then add a little bit of color randomly throughout. You'll see in the end I wish I had added a little more to that upper right corner. Just torching a bit to get some bubbles out. And I'm going to use a metallic purple as my swipe color. So I'm laying some down. And I'm also adding some a little bit in the top right corner. You can see I'm dipping my swiping paper. Make sure that it's connecting everywhere it needs to. And I drag it down. And you already can see some amazing cells going on. After a while, I got frustrated with the, the little swipers, and I decided to go back to the good old uh, paper towel method, uh, which still is my favorite. The cells that are coming up are fantastic. I also, you'll see, like to drag whatever I'm using to swipe with down the side. That way I get that last impression and it follows over the edge. All right, let's flip this puppy around. And here we go with the paper towel. And one last swipe. All right, now I'm torching to see what's going to come up here. I'm not using any type of silicone in this paint. It's mixed with Floterol and water. Some paints are just water. Can you see that purple and gold exploding in the bottom? It's so pretty. 
So for all you people who say you should have stopped, this might be the point you want to stop watching. But I wanted to get some movement in here. Just doing some little touch-ups here. And blowing out a couple spots. Let's see if some of the colors underneath and that ribbon pour will come out a little more. Okay, let's give it another twist. Let's expose some of those colors on the other side. Now, as you can see, I don't have much lung capacity, so I don't make a ton of effect uh, with the straw. I love how those purples are popping up in there. So here I'm just cleaning my edges because I don't want any more of my design pulled over the edge. And I'm just adding a little bit of copper um, that I'm dipping my stick into and just running along that center line. Just trying to get a little more movement in some of these spots. And giving it another torch. Running some gold down the middle line as well. there was something that was in the paint that I had to tape off. And I'm just going over that spot. I just had too much white showing in it. Still futzing with that upper right corner. This is where I start finger painting. Just connecting a little bit of uh, the different swipes with some continuity of color. I'm making sure there's nothing uh, that's coming up in the canvas, um, fuzz, hair, any of the above, giving it a final torch. Here's the finished piece. I hope you enjoy.